Hey, hey, my name is Shaquille Madjuri, and I talked to a bunch of fighters to get their thoughts on UFC Tampa's main event fight between Joanna Jindrzejczyk and the karate hottie Michelle Watterson. First up is the California kid, Uriah Faber. So I'm going to say uh, Joanna, just because I feel like her striking is is world-class and karate Heidi's got very good striking as well some great kicks and whatnot um she's more karate style versus traditional muay thai um which sometimes you know if 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 the the muay thai practitioner isn't creative enough can give him a lot of trouble but i think that uh you want us hungry uh michelle will have trouble taking her down. I just know that some other girls in the past have had trouble really capitalizing on the, the grappling side. Um, and I think it's going to be a stand up fight and joanna has got like a high output. They don't know if Michelle can, can match. Next we have UFC 244 fighter Vicente Luque. So Joanna Yandrichik, that's how I think it's, it's said, but I think she's going to win. Uh, Watterson is good, but I don't think she's at the level of Joanna. There is all the mental side. I think Joanna has been out of her last fights, you know, mentally. But I think if she has her mental side uh, back on point for this fight, I think she's going to get the win. Introducing top-ranked featherweight Josh Emmett. Uh, that's another, uh, you know, it's a crazy fight. Joanna Jurczyk is like, she, you know, I thought she was going to hold that title for such a long, long time. But then she just, you know, rose had her number yeah, Michelle Watterson continues to get better and better um, her jujitsu we already know her striking is really good from that you know karate style background um, I, I don't know that's going to be a tough one Yohan has the reach she's physically a bigger woman but Michelle continues to you know shock people um, but same thing if I had to pick one I'm probably going with Joanna. This is Felicia Spencer. Oh, God. This is hard one. <laughs> uh, you know, I'll, I'll go with Joanna on that one. Um, I really like the, the motive for Michelle Watterson, but uh, yeah, I'll have to pick Joanna. <laughs> Next up is Smiling Sam Alvey. Ooh, so Joanna Jocecek is one of the best that have ever been in any weight class, male or female. She's just wonderful. And as much as I like Watterson, I, I don't think she's uh, I don't think she's got what it takes to beat her. Sitting on the couch, it's comma worthy. Um, I'm a Karate Hottie fan, and I'm a, and I think she's gonna definitely like. I, I think Joanna's Yo- good. But I, she just hasn't been the same animal since she lost to Thug Rose. And I think I think um, the Karate Hottie's actually getting better. She's getting to her maximum level. So I'm going with her for that one. Next, we have Scott Hot Sauce Holtzman. Um. Man, that's a tough one. Joanna hasn't looked that good lately. Um, Michelle's looked pretty good. I'll go with Michelle Watterson on that. I like her. Uh, she's nice. And, uh, you know, I'll be rooting for her. So I think she gets the win by decision. And finally, Kyle Stewart. Joanna. Joanna, too, too fundamentally sound, too, too, too good. 